Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. George Washington Carver was an ex-slave who would go on to become an accomplished scientist and inventor and is considered one of the first popular environmentalists in American history. Most people know George Washington Carver for his connection to many practical uses for the peanut plant, though contrary to popular belief, he didn't invent peanut butter. He did, however, invent peanut and plant-based oils, medicines, and several farming techniques that healed nutrient-depleted soil, making farming easier and more lucrative for agricultural workers. Creating hundreds of plant-based products and revolutionizing agricultural sciences throughout the years made Carver a renowned celebrity, not just amongst black Americans. His groundbreaking achievements also brought him fame in white American culture at a time when black Americans were still heavily oppressed and segregated from white society. Like many great black historical figures with ambiguous personal lives, my research showed that George Washington Carver's romantic life and sexuality is still debated to this day, so I think we should weigh the evidence and discuss. First off, Carver was known to have one special lady in his life for at least a year, but it sadly ended tragically. Most people who knew him never knew him to have interest in relationships with women. And unlike many prestigious men from this time period, Carver never married. However, it was a common sight for students and faculty to see Carver and some of his male friends walking arm in arm across the campus of Tuskegee University, where he worked for many years. He was also known to give these male friends and colleagues massages with his personally concocted medicinal peanut oils. Another interesting historical fact is that many who knew Carver remarked that he had an exceptionally high voice for a man. Now, of course, a high voice doesn't necessarily mean someone is queer or attracted to men. But let's also be real. Many of us gay men have had to control the way we speak in certain spaces because our feminine voices could out us. Just check out the documentary, Do I Sound Gay, for more on this phenomenon. With all of the references, I think it's safe to say that most likely he was gay, bi, or queer. Carver never speaking on his romances with men was a common way to handle these relationships during this time period. Some may say assuming his sexuality is unimportant or disrespectful, but this mindset usually comes from people who see the idea of Carver being queer as harmful to his legacy. And whether they admit it or not, this mindset is innately homophobic. As time presses on, we will find that there was many black historical figures who may not have expressly spoke of their same-sex desires to the public, but left clues to the truth they weren't able to share in their lifetime. Was George Washington Carver queer? Yeah, probably.